How's it going, everybody? My name is Release Radar. Welcome to another video here on the channel. Sorry it's been a minute. Uh, it was just midterm season in college, and I am a little under the weather right now. But I got my Steam Deck dock, so I'm going to unbox it and talk about my first impressions in this video. Let's get into it. All right, so here we have the uh, packaging that it ships in. Um, came in a pretty small box. Uh, looks interesting. It looks like there's a little bit of tape here, so let me cut that up real quick. All right, let's get this open. These fold out. This goes up, it looks like, and wow, just straight to it, huh? This is it. It's got the uh, top port to charge your deck while it sits on the dock. At the back, you have three USBs, Ethernet, USB-C, HDMI, and DisplayPort. Okay, that's cool. I didn't realize this had DisplayPort on it. And this is the official dock. I have had a couple third-party providers reach out to me and ask if I wanted to review their dock as well. So I'm going to get back into contact with them and hopefully have other docks to compare to the official one. But I did want to get my hands on the official one first. But um, this is it. This costs about $90 US. It comes with a additional charger for the Steam Deck, which is nice. Now I have four of these. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my deck. I've been keeping it in this little hard shell case that comes with it. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up here. You know, and if you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like when it's just chilling in the case. You've got this little tab back here that you can pull up on and then take your deck out. And we're just gonna set it on the dock and look at that. I mean, it just sets down perfectly. It's a perfect fit, obviously, because this is designed right for it, right? And then you just feed this cable up to the top and that's how you keep it plugged in. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to my little um, wall outlet. I have an extension on the table with an open outlet specifically for things like this. All right, let's go ahead and get it plugged in. I am gonna have to go grab a monitor so I can actually like show you what it's like. But we're going to plug this in. So the USB-C on the back is for charging. I don't know if it is a multifunction USB. I don't know if you can do other things with it. I'll put up on screen right now if you can. But now my deck is charging and you can still comfortably hold it while you do this too. So there's enough give to lift it up if you wanna keep it in handheld mode for something. So that's actually pretty cool. But I mean, this fits perfectly. Docking station update available. Okay, apply. I am updating my dock. I did not know that's a thing I could do. One eternity later. All right, guys. Um, it has been like a month and a half since I started recording this video. Um, Thanksgiving has already come and gone. It is now December. Um, this took a lot longer than I thought it would, not for any fault of the Steam Deck or the dock, but just because I got caught up in so many things. But let's continue this video. And so the Steam Deck dock actually has multiple different use cases. You know, you can have it down and you can use it as a laptop a makeshift laptop that is, right? So I have a friend who actually uses the Steam Deck to take notes in college. And the way he does it is he props up his Steam Deck, gets a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and take notes in desktop mode for uh, his college, for his classes. And so with the Steam Deck dock, you can kind of turn it into a makeshift laptop. Now, would I recommend doing that over having a laptop alongside your Steam Deck? Not really, but if this is your only computer, Bringing a uh, wireless mouse and keyboard that can connect to this via Bluetooth uh, would be a little makeshift laptop that you could do, right? So that is a use case of the dock. Another use case is obviously plugging it into the TV and using it kind of as a more powerful switch. So let's go do that right now. All right, so here we are. I got the Steam Deck docked and plugged into my TV via HDMI. This is a 4K 75 inch LG TV. I actually just picked this up for a Black Friday, got an insane deal on it. So I think I'm gonna be doing a review on this here soon, but this is the Steam Deck's interface plugged into the TV. Kind of looks like big picture mode, but I kind of like this better than big picture mode. So I hope Steam's big picture mode um, just adopts this because I just think this looks better. But um, there are some cool features with the Steam Deck while it's docked. You can actually use the touch screen on the device to swipe around. Now I would have to get up and go over the deck to do that. You can kind of see it down in the bottom corner right there. So I'm just not gonna do that in this video. I am using a wireless mouse that is connected to one of the USBs and my Rocat couch keyboard, which is also connected to one of the USBs at the back. 
I would be using an Xbox controller right now because that would just be much easier, but I cannot get this to pair with the deck. So I don't know about you guys, but I always have trouble getting these Xbox controllers to pair with devices. It's so annoying. But nonetheless, here we are in the Steam Deck interface. This is a 4K TV, and I'm not quite sure how to check the output of the, uh, the display, because if we go down here in the bottom corner where the Steam Deck's kind of in the way of it, we click Menu, we go to Settings, you would think all the information about the resolution and everything would be under Display. But you click Display, and I don't see this information. Here we have External Display Scaling, which automatically set resolution is on, so let's turn that off. And so here we are, we're running at 3840 by 2160 at 60. So this is 4K 60. So the Steam Deck can actually automatically set the resolution. And so I would imagine it automatically sets it to that. So we're playing at 4K on the Steam Deck. And the Steam Deck is a fairly powerful handheld device, much more powerful than the Switch or most of the Ioneo devices. But the thing is, it's just not a 4K gaming PC. So um, that's where the Steam Deck dock um, kind of just, it blurs the line with the switch a little bit because if you want to play something like mass effect legendary edition on a 4k tv at 4k 60 i don't think the steam deck is going to be able to push that but we're going to actually throw ourselves into a halo the master chief collection here so we're going to open it back up and we're going to see if this works and if it crashes again maybe we scale the resolution down to like 1080p or something like that because as i said the steam deck's really not a 4k capable gaming pc okay it just worked that time interesting now, the MCC is not verified to work on the deck anyway. I just got it to work running a Proton compatibility layer. So we're gonna just click resume. Not exactly sure where in the campaign I am. Uh, okay, I love this mission, so that's cool. We're gonna load in here. It seems to be loading fairly quickly. And so we're gonna see if this is running in the game at 4K. This does not look 4K just by looking at the text. So. It's also really quiet. Driving around on the Warthog. We are getting 60 frames per second, but let's go ahead and look at the settings here. This does not look 4K to me at all. Yeah, this is running at 1280 by 720, and I cannot push it any higher. Why not? Okay, yeah, it looks like I can't push it to 4K. So it looks like it's just gonna run at 720p, which uh, the Steam Deck can crush Halo at 720p, so this running fine does not surprise me. It's really quiet for some reason, not quite sure why, but just driving around here. I'm going to get out of the Warthog. I want to, bro, I want to kill some things, man. Come on. Let's get into this real quick. See if we can do a little damage to that. That's going to kill me. All right, let's get out. It's going to shoot again. Do I have a Spartan laser? Why am I not using that? What is the button to swap weapons? It's one, interesting. Okay, they're gonna worry about that. I'm gonna go worry about this tank. What are you doing, Mr. Tank? Got him. What is the grenade button? Oh, hold on. What's the grenade button? Why is F the grenade button by default in the MCC? Who programmed this? Why is it not G? G has always been grenade. What are we doing? That was my only nade. So this is not outputting at 4K, as I said earlier. This is using different controls than what I usually use for the MCC. So that's also kind of annoying. My muscle memory is very much throwing me off here because I'm pressing buttons that aren't bound to the functions I usually use them. get around this corner real quick and press F their grenade. I think that sucked that jackal. That's on the turret. Okay, I think I got everything. Now I got everything. So yeah, this is running fairly well. I am seeing a couple frame drops here and there, but also this is not um, 4K. So yeah, I really wish this did run at native 4K. But, you know, playing it, I don't think the Steam Deck, if it's dropping frames at 720p, and I knew this was probably going to be the case, I don't think the Steam Deck is capable of handling 4K gaming. So, 
I think it's just outputting a 4K in the menus and everything, not actually during gameplay. Oh, that crate got moved. I, I'm stuck. Yep, I died. Okay, that's great. I didn't realize that crate got knocked over. But so you can play games. Uh, they run very well. But um, I'm going to go ahead and sit down at my desk and give you my full impressions on this device. I'm going to talk into my camera. And so I will see you guys there. So now we ask ourselves the question, is the dock really worth it? And do I recommend it? And my answer, as usual, is it kind of just depends. So if you're somebody who travels a lot and you're traveling for work and you bring the Steam Deck with you, I think the dock's worth it if you have $90 to throw at it, right? Because it's, it's not super expensive, but it's also not that cheap. It's kind of like in between those two. But I think the dock is really cool. And the ability to plug your Steam Deck into an external monitor is nice. If you travel a lot, if you're in hotels for work, or if you uh, use the Steam Deck as your main gaming device, I think it makes a lot of sense to buy the dock. But I'm going to say honestly... From my experience with it, it's just not worth it for most Steam Deck users. And the reason I say that is I've had it for about a month and a half and I've only used it to film this video. I'm not itching to plug my Steam Deck into my TV because I have my PS5 in my living room and I have my gaming PC in my this this room, right? This is my gaming PC room, right? This is my office. So in my office, I have my gaming PC and in my living room, I have my PS5. So I'm not itching to plug the Steam Deck into a TV because the Steam Deck is a handheld and that is its appeal to me. And I feel like that's the Steam Deck's appeal to most people. It's a handheld portable console. And while you can dock it with the docking station, it does not come included with the Steam Deck like the Switch, right? The Switch came with its dock, the Steam Deck doesn't. And I think because of that, I honestly don't think it's worth it for most people to spend $90 on a dock. I would rather spend that money personally on storage expansion for the Steam Deck. And I do want to say, I was able to buy the dock because of the support that you guys have been giving me recently. It's been insane. You know, I was able to pay for this fully with money I've made from YouTube. And thank you guys so much for that. It honestly does mean more than I can put into words. But I honestly think that the average Steam Deck user would not use it that much because I am a quote average Steam Deck user and I play my Steam Deck in bed before I fall asleep. And I don't have a TV or anything in my bedroom because that's where I sleep. So I, I have nothing to plug it into in there, and that's the only place that I honestly would, but I don't want to buy a TV for that room. So I think for most people who use the Steam Deck and handheld, you really have to sit and think to yourself, would you plug this into the TV? Or would you rather just use your computer on a monitor? Would you rather just use your console on your TV, right? And that's where I stand with the Steam Deck dock. I would rather just use my PS5 in my living room and my PC in here. And so it just kind of positions the dock in a weird place. You know, it, it's not expensive, but it's not cheap and it doesn't come with the Steam Deck. And I think for most people who bought the Steam Deck, they bought it because it's a portable device that you can play in the palm of your hand, right? That's why I bought mine. So I don't really recommend the Steam Deck dock and it's not to the fault of Valve. It's a great piece of technology and it works really well, it does exactly what they say it's going to do. But for most Steam Deck users, I would just assume you just kind of want to kick back and play your Steam Deck on the couch while watching TV. And you're going to hold it in your hand while Family Guy or The Simpsons is on. That's what I do. And I just don't really think the dock's worth it for that reason. But if you disagree with me, then you should buy one, right? If you think you're going to use it plugged into the TV all the time, go for it. But if you're on the fence about it, I want you to just sit down and think to yourself, how often will I really do this? because I've only used it like three times and it was to film this video. So it's a great piece of tech. And once again, you guys are all the reason why I was able to buy it. And thank you so much. But let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with my take here? Because I just personally don't believe the Steam Deck dock is something every Steam Deck owner should just rush out and buy. I think if you have a Steam Deck, you're probably just using it handheld because A, you don't have the dock yet, but also B, it is the preferred Steam Deck experience. So let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Like and share this video if you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.